Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Jeff at Lockdown Security, and today I'm bringing you a video on the Kenwood Exelon DMX 709S, which is the replacement for one of my favorite radios of 2022, which is the Kenwood Exelon DMX 706S. Now, uh, for viewers of my channel, you will notice that I like to say it's my favorite radio. I have all sorts of favorite radios, but um, the DMX 7706 and the DMX 706S uh, from Kenwood and Kenwood Exelon, respectively, were two of my favorite radios for providing best bang for the buck and best quality for the buck. And uh, really, Kenwood has not changed that, um, that recipe for this year with the DMX 709S. But what they have changed is just like the DMX 7709S, they've gone to a smaller LCD screen with uh, buttons along the side, capacitive touch screen. So they go from a seven inch LCD on the DMX 706 to a 6.8 inch on the DMX 709, and they go to a capacitive screen, whereas the last models were uh, resistive touch screens. So with that being said, uh, I do have another video that we've just put up on the DMX 7709S. Very similar in terms of feature set. They're almost identical in terms of the radios. Although I do, I will say, I think the touchscreen on the 709S is more responsive. The other thing that they're giving you on the Exelon, they're giving you a two-year warranty on this model versus Kenwood uh, with a one-year warranty. But I'll be honest with you, Kenwood and Kenwood Exelon, they're one of the most reliable radio brands out there. You probably won't have any warranty concerns, but if you did and you were concerned about that, Kenwood Exelon is the way to go because you get that extra year's worth of warranty. So let me just go into uh, this radio so you can see how it works. This is the box right here. There's the contents of the box, the radio and this stuff, which I'll go through. Very similar to my other video, which I will link to down below. And in the meantime, let's just get to using this radio. So it's got the home screen along the side, uh, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, both wired. They're not wireless. As you can see, basically, I'm just touching the menu. Let's go to the setup menu. So you'll see it's quite fast. Uh, if I go back to the home menu, I go here. It's extremely touch sensitive and it's got the same hard buttons along the side or not hard buttons, but fixed buttons along the side for features such as now playing, camera, apps, and your setup menu. And then obviously when you click the menu button, it goes along the top for very similar uh, options. Um, this one's got, I think, a little bit more of a glossy display, has the Exelon logo down at the bottom there. So this will definitely be a contender for one of the best radios, but it has the same fault in my eyes, obviously, as the DMX7706, uh, or sorry, DMX7709S. I got to get these model numbers memorized. Um, same fault in the smaller screen and the buttons along the side. Me personally, I like uh, the larger seven inch screen with the buttons along the bottom. Also, I'm not a fan of capacitive touch buttons. I like physical buttons. And the reason being is, as you'll see, let me just go to a source here, HD radio. There's no feedback other than on the screen. That actually may be one of the other differences too. And I'll do a video where I have both the 7709S and the 709S side by side. We'll use both and I can kind of go through what the differences are, but the difference I'm talking about is HD radio. This model has it. I don't think the 7709S has HD radio. So if you're a radio fan, you want the cleanest, clearest, uh, high definition signal, if you have that available in your area, this is the model choice. Now we'll link uh, a link to this radio for sale on our website below. Um, you can buy it at lockdownsecurity.ca. And if you have any questions, sales at lockdownsecurity.ca. Uh, while I'm on that topic, let me just go over. I'll show you what comes in the box if you were to buy it. So again, kudos to Kenwood. Trim ring. That's awesome. Sorry. Cage. Trim ring. God, I'm rusty at making these videos. Uh, this is awesome for the installation capabilities. GPS antenna. Microphone. Parking brake input. And then your user guide, your ISO mount screws, your GPS pad, and your removal keys. Uh, I'll just show you the back of this radio as well. Same chassis, shallow mount as the DMX7709. 
Video inputs, HDMI, RCAM, video out, AV in. Still got to double check if you can use those for cameras. I don't think you can. I went through the owner's guide, the install guide. I still don't know what this input's for. So if any of you viewers out there know what this is for, um, shoot me a message, let me know, because it's not listed in the um, in the guide as to what this connector's for. I assume it's for some sort of service, possibly, but or maybe future possibilities. But right now, I, I don't know what this is for. Although... Let's see, it might be, I was going to say it might be for their dash camera, but I don't think so. I don't think that's what that's for. Uh, I forgot to mention in the other video, this is the cooling fan. You've got your parking brake reverse uh, input there. You've got your uh, front view camera input, USB, iData Link RS-232, satellite radio input, uh, main power harness input. Triple pre-out right here. I believe the voltage on this one, I'll double check. It's gotta be at least four volts. I will put that in the, uh, the video as well. Uh, what else do I need to go through? I think that's pretty much it. That pretty much sums up the, the DMX709S. You know, it's a great radio. We're gonna sell a ton of these. Uh, I'm hoping 2023 brings less of the stock shortage situation that we had during the pandemic on a lot of Kenwood receivers. We now have these in stock. So uh, for now, you know, we have tons of available inventory on this radio. It's brand new. We literally just received these about a week and a half ago. Uh, it was a little bit late getting a video out. I wanted to get a video out the day that we got these receivers. But you know what? We're going to have these for the next year, year and a half as a current model. So I look forward to selling a lot of the DMX 709S. My personal opinion, I am a little bit disappointed in the, the uh, capacitive touch buttons. But other than that, this is a great receiver. And with a two-year warranty, you can't go wrong. HDMI input, you can't go wrong. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. What more do you really need in a, in a doubled-in receiver? So with that being said, Look forward to the shootout video where I put these uh, the two similar models uh, side by side. And if you could, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It goes a long way to help us make more videos like this in the future. And uh, I look forward to making more videos for you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.